Hey, it's Cat, Cat Tales TV. And yeah, I'm dressed kind of Christmassy because it is Christmas. But I just want to do something real quick. In reference to uh, the case, and I'm sorry, I'm so effing tired. I haven't gotten any sleep in a while. My eyes are all baggy. But regardless, the LAPD messed up big time, as usual. Uh, these are a couple of things that I noticed. Watching the video of the body cam of the female police officer that testified, I believe, yesterday. Um, the video audio goes out. At first it's working, then it stops. So it looks like they edited the video. Also, it's showing like Megan's boobs and her stomach. It's not showing, it's like very, very strange, the clips that the prosecution decided to show because it's not the full video. If it's real body cam, it should have just gone on and on and on without the... It lasts for like, it looked like five seconds. You know, when I shoot videos, I normally leave it all the way through um, when I'm shooting news stories or, or celebrities or something like that. I rarely edit unless, um, you know, it goes on too long, but I don't edit. So if I was the defense, I'd be asking for the full body cam of all the officers um, in discovery. Also, the way they treated Megan. Okay, imagine you are shot and you're obviously bleeding and there's blood dripping from the SUV all the way down to the, you know, on the sidewalk. And the cops handcuff Megan face down on the ground and then they make her walk to the fucking uh, ambulance. Like, who the, f excuse my French, but who the fuck does that? They treat black people differently. I just don't understand. I've seen I've seen Caucasian women yelling at police officers in parking lots and them the police officers walking away. But to have a woman that's bleeding who's wearing a bikini and she, they they literally look like they were grabbing her from the ground and pulling her up to walk. And I just find that disgusting. So the LAPD, as usual, has people that don't need to be police officers um, because they messed up this investigation. If, if I was a police officer, I would be watching all the people involved. Um, I'd be looking at their behavior because I don't know, you know, what they're going to do. I mean, even if I'm walking down the street, or I'm at the beach, I'm very aware of, of people around me. Maybe because that's because I got robbed before, um, but if I was a police officer, I would know whether or not Tory Lanes actually said a couple of words because the female police officer said that she did not yesterday. She didn't remember anything that he said. She didn't look at his demeanor, which I found very, very strange. But again, the audio is missing. Uh, the police officer that testifies, their stories are not really valid. Like, they don't have any hardcore evidence that would help us make a decision. Also, if I was a police officer at, arriving at the scene, and don't they know what gunshots are? Like, don't they know what bullets look like or, or injuries to a foot? whether it looks like it's glass or if it's gunshots. Can't you, like, kind of tell? Uh, and if a story sounds fishy, don't you do further investigation? I mean, the gun casings were somewhere around, obviously. I just don't feel like they did their due diligence. Also, what else was I gonna say? There, it might be that Megan supposedly was sitting in the front seat, passenger side. And one of the things I'm pondering is that, you know, Kelsey said she didn't shoot Megan. What if Megan took the gun out of her ba bag and tried to shoot at Kelsey because she was drunk or Tori? The cops never tested Megan's hands for gun residue, as far as I know. But what I'm saying is it could possibly be that fucking Megan tried to shoot somebody and she shot herself in the foot. I'm not saying that she did, I don't know, but the cops didn't do their proper research or investigation of 
of what went down. And like, again, the way they treated Megan, someone bleeding, saying, you know, she's injured. And instead of bringing the gurney to her, they made her walk to the ambulance. I just find the, the police, as usual in LA, pathetic. So um, that's my take on that. Uh, I'm gonna do another video about something else, but uh, yeah, I'm just like, this case is totally blown. It's obviously they wanted to rush to prosecute um, Tory Lanes, and also what I would want to say is that I heard that they were just saying this trial is going to be for 10 days, and that's what they wanted. Now, in reference to evidence and finding out the truth, why do you put a limit on how many days this trial is going to be? It should be as long as it takes to get to the bottom of the fucking truth. But again, the pro like. The prosecution and the witnesses they showed, really bad. Really, really, really bad. The way the LAPD did the investigation, really, really bad. That's what I'm sticking with. So this is Cat Cattails TV. Please check out my other videos. You can do a search on my YouTube channel and you can find everybody from Stallone to Andre Bruccelli to Conor McGregor to Habib to a bunch of other stuff. A lot of you guys are seeing me for the first time and you don't know who I am, but that's cool. But uh, my laptop's messed up, so I, can't, I haven't been able to do all the things I normally do with linking you to other videos that I've done in the past. So you're gonna have to do a little work yourself and you can search my YouTube channel and you'll find a bunch of really cool stuff. All right. So anyway, uh, happy holidays, regardless of all this madness. I'm going to talk about January 6th committee because that's important uh, too. Okay. But that's coming up later. So you guys take care and I'll bring you more information from court as soon as I can. Bye.